the Moist Gilwa, Novices Chase is next, another grade one. Two mile five furlong, all ten glazed at the top for John Morgan. Always flying. Or oh, David Hooney, Mala Lord, Leon Van Rensburg, Diamond Arca, Percy. Or oh, Derek Hinton, Domes of Panga, Darren Thompson, The Miss and The Witch Queen for Joshua Sutherland. And tight for Craig Beckwith, a field of eight in this one. Away and racing. And heading towards the first of the fences. It's the TP fence and they're over OK with 19 to take in all, 18 more to take. And the miss on the inside of Domes of Panga. The field is very closely grouped at this stage. Make it over the second. You've really got to be certain that your horse is going to be group class novice to run in one of these group novice races early on in the season because if you do well you're ruling yourself out of all the handicaps ready for the rest of the season and it's the miss who will lead over that one from domes of panga and tight as they get over these rallies these novices are not going to really know what's hit them when they see these things and the miss is in front all ten glazed is second Ditch closest to us, always flying. Flew it actually, that one. Then in terms of Pangra and the Witch Queen. Get back to Diamond Arca, Percy in tight, and then finally Mana Lord. And they're all out of the car park again. Or whatever they're supposed to be. I don't know what the point of them is, to be honest. I don't know why you'd put them in the middle of a, a race. You'd just be asking for trouble. you got race horses that are. Potentially costing a fortune, and you put metal fences in that they're going to wrap their potentially wrap their front legs on, and that's it, they're out for the season. So it makes absolutely no sense at all to me, then. And then anyway, the miss is in front. I need to have something to moan about. This is about the fourth or fifth race today, I've not moaned about anything yet. And it's the miss who is in the lead from the Witch Queen in second as they get over the eighth. And all ten glazed is back in third. Continuing the lead. Josh trying to see if he can get a 1 2 in a group 1 for the second race on the trot. All 10 glazed is currently preventing that from happening, sitting nicely in second. And the Witch Queen is third, tight is fourth as they take the water. Jump on the water on the outside by Mala Lord. See that one getting a little bit closer. Diamond Arca Percy is now dropped to the back. They're quite well strung out now as they. Head towards the next. And a bit of a mistake by tight. But the miss is four lengths clear. All ten glazed in second. Man of Lords come up on the outside of the Witch Queen and tucked in behind him. Domes of Panga. And a gap of three lengths then back to the back three. Tight Diamond Arca Percy and always flying as they get over the twelfth. And another mistake by tight at the back. The miss. There's more hit than miss at the moment in the lead and over the 13th from the witch queen oh this time they missed really did miss that one out and that has allowed the witch queen to go on the miss is trying to fight back on the inside Unfortunately, they're not going to take those railings again and the miss has regained the lead from the witch queen of mana lord in domes of panga and all ten glazes they take the 15th which is a big ditch after that always Flying and tight diamond arc of Percy seems to have dropped out the back when it's the miss gets over this ditch in front. Almost a line of four now sharing second and a gap of four or five lengths to always flying as they head towards the third from home. And the miss gets over that one nicely, but the others all jumped in that little bit quicker and now we've got a race on our hands I think with these five at the front tight is trying to run on from the back be a lot closer we hadn't made those couple of mistakes but it's the miss and the witch queen from domes of panga and mana lord all ten glazed under a bit of pressure in fifth then tight and always flying trying to run on 
And they've got two to get over and two furlongs to go into the second last. And they missed jump that one really well. Stable mate, the Witch Queen did likewise. Manor Lords drop right out of it as they come down towards the final fence. And then it's the miss in front. The miss gets over. Oh, she's gone. The miss has crashed out. And it's Domes of Panga and the Witch Queen now battling it out. There's a furlong to go. And Domes of Panga is in front. The Witch Queen is in second. All ten glazed. He's trying to run on. So too. He's always flying. But it's got to be Domes of Panga who's actually pulling away now. Domes of Panga. Panga takes it with Darren Thompson, the Witch Queen second, all flying third, then all ten glows, Manor Lord Titan, Diamond Arca, Percy. And the Miss was running a really good race and just absolutely ran through the final fence, crashing for and Domes of Panga, takes it for Darren Thompson. I said in the previous race that Joshua Sutherland doesn't have many fall as well. He certainly had one there. Domes of Panga for Darren Thompson, the winner. The Witch Queen second for Joshua Sutherland. Always flying for David Hooley third. All ten glazed John Morgan was fourth. And back in fifth was Malalord for Leon Van Rensburg.